I'm interested in the allergy campaign because right from the beginning I became a member and been a member ever since. But I don't suppose most of the audience would expect someone aged 103 to talk to them, but that, that's me. And the other thing that, as it happens, as it was mentioned, I by mistake caused myself severe anaphylaxis from an insect which I'd never met before because I knew that mosquitoes, bugs, fleas, everything, if they have their meal from me, I get very itchy. So I chose a bug that I'd never come across before because it came from South America and I, I let it take my blood. Now, just before they suck your capillaries, they put in a tiny bit of saliva and that's what causes trouble. And so I followed what happened on the eighth meal, this is a roughly weekly intervals, but luckily for me, I, I was, it was done at St. Mary's Hospital where I was in charge of the allergy department. Very luckily for me, I did it in my own side ward and on the eighth bite, eighth meal that this insect had, uh, I got severe anaphylaxis. But as the last speaker mentioned, within one minute, I was having adrenaline. But uh, by that time, I had the feeling of impending doom. That's what all the books say. You think you're going to die. I was pulseless. I couldn't speak. My face was swollen. I had to carry everywhere. I couldn't breathe. Uh, and I thought I was going to die. But adrenaline, certainly. And I believe, but I'm, very, I'm not quite certain, but I think it was given in my deltoid at the time, and not my thigh. Uh, and we haven't really discussed about these very fat people who inject themselves, or they have an injection of adrenaline, and they don't put it in their muscles, but that's another question. Uh, some other time we can have adrenaline. Um, anyhow, uh, I, within about 90 seconds, I thought I was going to live. And you can see, I did live. But 10 minutes later, I, I required another injection of adrenaline. And then, three hours later, I was seeing a patient. I went down to my own outpatient. What I was seeing this one patient for, I don't know. But as soon as I got there, my very good nurse said, oh, you need adrenaline, you've been doing something silly. And I said, no, I've had two, I don't want another. Uh, I, my face was still swollen, but otherwise my pulse had come back and everything would seem to be fairly normal. I saw the patient, but then half an hour later, I did some severe exercise, it was February, and I helped a nurse to go up a one in four slope, and it was all icy and, and, and uh, snow. And we, we got a little mini up onto the, uh, onto the street level. And that was, I was very pleased, but that, 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 as soon as this happened, what happened? All my symptoms came back again. So I had a, a nice delayed reaction. Now was this due to the cold or was it due to exercise? I don't know, but I required a third injection of adrenaline. Um, so you see, I am interested in, in anaphylaxis, but there's one, story I thought after listening to the last speaker, uh, how sensible am I and should I carry around adrenaline? My bug came from South America and at that time I'd never been to South America. I don't know, five or six or seven years later I was in Rio and I've been there quite a few since, times since. But this time I was with my wife and we were looking at Rio as visitors as it were, there was a conference. We took a bus and looked at the, the, the cross that's, that's on over the bay and got out to have a look at it and take some photographs. And there at my toe was the, my insect that I was hoping I would never meet before. Do I carry it in? Did I carry it in? No, I didn't. So, so perhaps I should. Now, the only other thing I was going to say that as far as the anaphylaxis said, you were talking about this thing. I'm so glad that you're now getting volunteers to help, because uh, I think this makes a lot of difference. People who have anaphylaxis, they like to talk about it themselves and, and be taught about it and, and see all what the, the, the various differences is, is on how they behaved uh, when they had an, 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 an anaphylaxis. And I know this from the, what was used to be called the Asthma Research Council, and now Asthma UK. They were very strong when they had these multiple small voluntary societies, they called them, and they got rid of them and things really went down. Now you were doing what I like to see, getting volunteers to help. Um, I, I said that I'm going to retire next March because by that time I'm 103 and I think I should retire, but I'm quite 
proud that since 100, I have produced four articles, uh, academic articles, which have been published. So it means that I'm still interested in anything to do with allergy and particularly anaphylaxis. Thank you, Andrew.